and welcome back. We have three dead units in our party. It's time to go see what I can do about that. 400 gold for each of those. It's a bit much, but we can afford it at the moment. Those are 300... Wow. Yeah, these are all expensive. Goodness me. Hmm. What I might be able to do is... Let me see. Hmm. I'd have to get lucky. But I think I'll try it anyway. Just buy the cheap ones for now. And one more. Okay. And then go after that. And then have her come over here as well. And hopefully, um, in that next battle, we'll be able to use our matriarch to heal. I think if I take out the Doom Drake, I should be well set to deal with the others without taking enough damage to die. Um, Especially considering I'm going to get another 15% health back. Just from being a warrior lord. So that will help and I'll probably be able to survive without too much difficulty. Um, we're at 91. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think they have nearly enough damage output. Um... And I can take out one of the initiates immediately. So I'm sure we'll be alright. And I just realized I still have a life potion that I had forgotten about. So I didn't need to spend quite as much money as I did. But, you know, live and learn, right? Maybe that life potion will come in handy. Nice. Wow, that went really slow. Oh, alright. So now we've got paladins. That's awesome. Uh, we can take out the uh, werewolves without any problem at all. And we can take that out. We can probably take this out as well. Um, I might wait till my wizard is next, the next level up though. Um, just because it will be a bit difficult otherwise. And now let's... And I think I'll have her grab that gold and then immediately go towards that infernal mana. Because I definitely need that. And I think I'll let my spearman deal with that thief. Sure, I'll take your blizzard. I'm probably never going to use it. But I'll take it anyway. Just so they don't get angry with us and break alliance. So this will be an easy battle. Those paladins can tank a lot of damage. The city is ours, my lord. There is a stench of sulfur in this town. Without, without doubt, the legions have been here. 
Okay. And, ooh, wow. That guy's got a death in his party as well. I think I'm going to start heading over this way. Um, I can leave these alone for now. Uh, so... Necromancer... Yeah, I can... I can deal with that. Um, with our... Paralysis... And with George just doing so much damage... It's not really going to be an issue. And especially if our wizard goes first. I actually wasn't expecting that. That's why I didn't attack immediately. And now we can just instant resolve and get that over with. And now we have a prophetess. Alright. Now we can definitely handle pretty much anything. Nope, we're gonna leave that for now. Yes. I need the gold. I need to save up enough money for um, our Holy Avengers. Um, because I will be taking Holy Avengers this time. In this mission, I think they're probably the best choice. And that spell was um, a powerful one. I'm actually not sure, but I think it did 50 damage. See what we've got here. A potion of swiftness and a diamond. And another easy battle. Attack. And enough for our assassin to gain another level. So we got extra damage coming in from him. Oh yeah? I'm listening. We'll actually leave that thief. The mountain clans can deal with it. He's not getting by us anyway. So, not a big deal. It's not like I need the experience. Peasants even leveled up are still terrible. The spearman is okay. Um, if he actually gained um, proper levels as a, like a hero type unit would he would actually be a decent character but unfortunately he doesn't Okay, so two lizard men and a Medusa. Extremely easy. And I, wow, I forgot to build the arcane tower, I guess. Um, I had meant to do that a long time ago. I'm not sure why I didn't. But that's alright, we've got it now. Um, I'll probably find a quick short battle somewhere. And if I bring her into close proximity with George, she shouldn't get attacked by anything. Most of their parties will probably try to avoid us. 
because we are already quite powerful. We could be a bit more powerful if I had built my arcane tower immediately. But one more battle will rectify that. Once we finally get a chance to uh, do something. Good, I won't have to deal with that party now. So I think I'll head over towards the undead, deal with them first, and then... and then deal with the legions of the damned after that. Goblin orb. One of the more useless orbs. Goblins are not very useful. Now, is this thing completely surrounded by trees? I think it is. I think it's impossible for me to take that mana. But I can take the Infernal. On my next turn. <coughs> As long as she doesn't die. That's always a possibility. Especially considering I have no vision up there. There might be a legions party just out of sight. That'll come in and raffle stomp me. I'm hoping not. I should be alright. Yeah, I don't think the undead will have anything up there, so. I'll be just fine. And that won't really do too much damage. Heal most of it at the beginning of my turn. And that's their capital. Okay, good stuff. And they already took that out. And that's owned by the Legions of the Damned? Alright. Um, I'll just take it on. Yeah, it's a pretty weak party. So I should be taking this city. And then... Is that owned by the Undead now? So the Undead stole a Legion city. And the Legion stole an undead city. So they're just trading back and forth right now. And I'm left to pick up the pieces. And there's an ogre down there. Be dealing with that shortly. It'll take two turns to take this city now, though, because uh, the Legion's hired another party. Oh, what? He's selling it to me for pretty cheap, too. Usually, they'd sell it for 300. But I don't want it. Sorry. So he'll come in to attack my rod planter. So I'll take out the city. Um, that'll get me gold and life mana. Wow. Now that's an easy battle. <laughs> 